the unemployment rate was at 3.5 percent the lowest in a half century so what did trump do to lower the unemployment rate well i'm just naming off things that were good when he was president but not just that also the economy was great under trump Um, well the economy he affected the economy which in turn helped a lot of these things and helped what did he do to affect the economy So you don't think any of these things have anything to do with his, like, his Well, I'm not making a claim, am I? You're making a claim, but you don't really have anything to back up that claim. So I guess my question would be, why do you make a conclusion on a political issue without understanding the context of that political issue? Well, he was a businessman, so he under- that's why it makes sense that the economy would be good under him and terrible under Biden. So... That's why you have all of these things doing so great. Like, people were doing better under Trump than... I'm Ravana, and welcome back to Rebel HQ. That Trump supporter's entire argument fell apart when TikTok user at Parker Cole gave him just the slightest pushback. This seems to be a pretty regular occurrence for Trump supporters. Hey, well, this is fact-checked. It's wrong because it's taken out of context. Like when Joe Biden fell asleep during a live interview on television. <laughs> Claimed that he fell asleep. I think that was an edited one, right? That was... I didn't think it was. It looked pretty live to me with no cuts in it. Joining us live this morning from New York. Hey, good morning. Wake up. Yes. Wake up, up, wake up. Okay. This is your wake up call. Is this the video that you're talking about? Could be, yeah. Biden falling out. Should I watch it really quick? Sure. So this is Washington Post. Uh. <laughs> so an article there is saying that, that it that it was faked, but it looked real, right? I mean it looked real. Well I mean I definitely wouldn't doubt that it would happen. Ah, uh, the good old Well, it wasn't true this time, but the fact that I believed it says a lot about society. Sorry, buddy, but I think it says more about your intelligence and ability to spot misinformation than it does say anything broader about society or specifically about Joe Biden. Well, sometimes pushing back against the Trump supporters' arguments reveals that they actually don't have an argument, like the previous two examples. Sometimes it reveals something much darker, like this next TikTok. Against LGBTQ people. Why should we be against LGBTQ people? Because they are again, they are against the norm. It is not against the norm. Catholic. What are you talking about? The norm. It, it, it is not a good Catholic value. Catholic uh, value. You know. You know. When norm used to be slavery, so abolitionists used to be anti-slavery. They were against the norm. We should bring slavery back. What? Uh, Yikes! Talk about a mask off moment, or maybe a hood off moment. But if there's anything that all of these videos show, it's that, you know what? Actually, I'll let Ted Cruz take this one. Conservatives are morons and we don't know what we're talking about.